Hey guys, welcome back to the Sideburn Hunter. Today, we're talking about these rifle cartridges again. Today, we're gonna cut one of these open and take a look at what's inside. A rifle cartridge can be broken down into two parts. The brass part is the case, and this is the bullet. The case is either made of brass but they can also be made of aluminum or steel. At the head of the rifle case, you can find what's called the head stamp. This indicates the caliber of the cartridge and typically the manufacturer. It also contains the primer. The head of the cartridge contains some sort of extraction groove, a rim for extraction, and to prevent overinsertion of rifle cartridges with steep shoulders or it can have a belt, which also prevents overinsertion and strengthens the head of the case. This is the primer cup. Inside, you can see the priming mixture. This three-part piece is the anvil. The primer cup contains the priming mixture, which is ignited when the firing pin hits the primer cup, compressing the priming mixture into the anvil. This priming mixture then ignites and is forced through the flash hole the flash hole directs hot gases coming from the primer into the body of the cartridge, igniting the gunpowder. Gunpowder, as you can see here, comes in many different forms. Powder is really a misnomer. In this case, you're looking at extruded, pelletized, smokeless powder, but it can also come in round balls. This is the wall of the case. The walls are slightly tapered to aid in extraction of the rifle cartridge once it's been expended. The walls of the chamber are designed to withstand tens of thousands of pounds of pressure. The body of the cartridge contains the gunpowder. When the gunpowder is ignited by the primer, it expands rapidly, conforming to the sides of the chamber for a brief instant before retracting back to its original size, allowing for it to be removed from the chamber. The shoulder transitions the wide case down into the neck. This concentrates expanding gases. Shoulders come in different types, straight, as in the case of a 4570 government, almost imperceptible in the case of a 300 blackout, the steep shoulder of this 300 Winchester short magnum, and the shallow shoulder of this 30 6 or radius in the case of some Weatherby cartridges. The neck holds the bullet. It's slightly smaller than the bullet's diameter, resulting in a press fit between the neck and the bullet. When the cartridge is fired, the neck expands, sealing the cartridge to the barrel, directing all of the expanding hot gases down the barrel, propelling the bullet along with them. The mouth is where the bullet sits. Sometimes this contains a crimp to ensure that the bullet does not move during rough handling of the cartridge. Bullets can either be lead, lead and copper, or solid copper. They have an aerodynamic shape. They are propelled down the barrel by hot gases. In the case of a rifle, grooves down the barrel, engage the bullet, and impart spin to aid in aerodynamics and stability. So now you know all of the internal parts of a rifle cartridge. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you liked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. And please go check out our blog at thesideburnhunter.com. Until next time, you've been watching The Sideburn Hunter.